Ralph said, with the recent announcement of Microsoft Recall and the huge privacy implications, there's a lot of people considering switching to Linux or at least Mac OS. What can these users do to tackle the lack of app support? For example, the Visual Studio IDE. Also, are there any privacy risks to a Linux distro and the activity done on it from Windows Dual Boot? So, yeah, I spoke to this earlier, actually, um, which is one of the friction points of Linux is availability of professional software. And I do think that this is a legitimate concern for people. If you're someone whose livelihood and your, your full-time job depends on Visual Studio IDE, then it's very unfair, I think, to demand that they move away uh, from their operating system of choice and the workflow they're probably dependent on. You know, it's, it's just, a, it's asking a lot from someone. And I don't think that they should do it, but I think it's just asking a lot. So I think that as always, what I'm going to come back to is how do you tackle the lack of app support? A, are you able to compartmentalize? Because generally in the context of something being needed for professional purposes, that's something that can be reserved on a work device. So, you know, you should have your own work device or your own work operating system. Or if you're dual booting, you can have Windows with Visual Studio IDE in one operating system. And then you also have, you know, Linux or whatever you want to use in the other one. So again, like you really have to think about how you can compartmentalize things because that's really the easiest way to try to separate things in your life and still benefit from privacy invasive software when you can. Because a lot of times there are valid reasons to be on Windows or Mac OS or Linux and there's benefits to it that have nothing to do with privacy or security, but maybe it's convenience, maybe it's integration with your team, maybe it's uh, what your school requires. There's just so many reasons. And so what I would do is try to use Linux for things that you can use Linux on. And maybe you'll discover there's actually an alternative to Visual Studio down the road and you can actually full on move to Linux. Um, but like when I first started using Linux, I didn't just 24 seven move everything over. I started by just using it for some of my personal stuff. Then I realized, oh wait, I can just move this over as well into my Linux distro. And over time I realized, well, I don't even need this other operating system anymore. I can just do Linux. So. Um, that's what I would say. Compartmentalize, see what you can transition over over time. And that's about it. Uh, I think that it's nice to see people look at recall and go, wait, I don't want this. We actually had a really big thread on our forum about this where someone posted saying I'm officially leaving Windows after seeing this. And a lot of people were giving thumbs up, uh, which is really awesome. So, um, and then you also ask on a topic of dual booting, um, can Windows compromise the privacy of a Linux distro if it's in if it's dual booted with secure boot enabled and both OS is being on different SSDs. And I would say, especially if you have full disk encryption on both of those, the answer to that is as far as I know, I haven't seen any reason to say there is any privacy concern. So if you have secure boots, if you're full disk encryption on both drives, especially on the, Win on the Linux drive, I, I really don't see what the concern is and you're still going to get a huge amount of benefit. So I, I really have no reason to discourage that workflow. Um, the only reason I would ever discourage dual booting is it can be really messy. And um, a lot of that comes from dual booting on the same drive though. So if you have different drives and it's done cleanly, it's done safely, I actually really like dual booting because then you can do everything on one piece of hardware. So um, yeah. Hey there, thanks for watching this TechLore clip. I just wanted to say, if you enjoyed this content, we have many other clips on this channel that you can get subscribed to. Otherwise, you can check out our full channel at TechLore where we talk about digital rights, privacy, security, open source, Linux, and many other exciting topics to keep you safer online. We'll see you over there, and we hope you enjoyed this clip.